Welcome into the archives, where we dive into games long forgotten in our Steam libraries to find gems hidden within. Did you know? Sharks get through up to 30,000 teeth in a lifetime. They never stop generating new teeth, and their gums work like a conveyor belt. They also have tiny pores in the end of the shark's snout, filled with a gel that is very sensitive to electrical signals in the water. However, the most dangerous fact of all is that once they have a taste of a redneck's hand, they can become a lightning god that is destined to end all life near and in the water. Maneater is this tale, so let's see what this game has to offer. Maneater is a power fantasy RPG of playing a shark in Not Florida, a game that parodies documentaries where the story is you are a C-sectioned from your hunted mother and then released by Pete, only for that baby shark to come back for revenge. You do this by eating and ruining the ecosystem of various areas, finding collectibles, and small troves of various resources to help you grow at a rapid rate. You start off completing missions and side missions in an area to gain four different resources. These missions can be anything from killing a strong predator, killing a certain amount of fish, killing humans in a certain area, and finally, once you complete all the missions in an area, kill the apex predator, which there is one in every area. Once you kill the apex, your main missions will usually move on to the next area, with usually a cutscene to show how Pete is doing. You can also hunt humans without missions and stir up some infamy, which after killing a certain amount, a famous shark killer comes out to finish the job. Killing these famous shark killers or completing certain missions will allow you to gain new body parts and upgrades for your shark form. Upgrade your body with various parts and then upgrade those parts to become the next mega shark. So you'll go from a tiger shark looking to get some snacks to a lightning shark that should concern the local populace a whole hell a lot more. I mean, look at this. I'm literally becoming lightning and dodging bullets. And honestly, that's about it. The game's combat system is pretty straightforward with a bite and a tail whip, then finally a dodge. Learn how to dodge and you can pretty much take things way beyond your level no problem. Just keep hitting the bite, and you will eventually learn the game will punish you pretty hard for that. This is not a complicated game and feels like a nice way to turn off the brain and eat some peeps. Personally, I love the parody of documentary with the narrator constantly adding comments during the game. The ocean is vast. The majority of it still remains unmapped and unexplored by mankind. Perhaps Kyle shouldn't be so quick to dismiss his father's fevered rambling. He gets a little repetitive sometimes, but I feel like the game would be considerably less enjoyable without him. My major thing about the game is honestly two gripes. The smaller one of the two is a weird bug where enemies will straight up just peace out and vanish from the world, which can lead to situations where you may have to need to reset the game to bring them back, or it may think you've had killed them. As you can see in this clip where I am fighting an infamy hunter and they're just on their boat, I swim to deal with their their reinforcements and they just straight up die. The other issue I have is the weird slowdowns. The game is generally fast paced, which is why it's weird when you use the dash or swim fast command, then only for your shark to wiggle in place and move considerably slower. This could happen in combat and out of combat out of nowhere, which is a shame because while it seems like a small thing, it happened frequently in my game, which got really frustrating. Did I enjoy Maneater? I would say I did. I definitely think if it wasn't for the wonky movement issues and the sonar mechanic, I would have enjoyed this game considerably more. A quick warning, there is a mechanic where you send out a sonar to find nearby objects and creatures. This mechanic flashes your entire screen, which can be problematic if you're sensitive to that kind of thing. If we could adjust how the flashing works, honestly, it would probably fix this issue. After about six hours of gameplay, I was about a little bit above halfway through the game. That was with me fully exploring three areas and doing all the missions, and then sort of completing the fourth area. I felt satisfied with the rest of the game would be pretty much the same, except for probably more interesting boss fights, a nice game that I may return to in the future and finish. Which, considering the simple mechanics, makes this game an easy game to pick back up after a hiatus. So if killing everyone like a slasher shark movie in a documentary sounds fun to you, maybe give Maneater a try.